Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus AB free response questions from 2018, and here's number two. So a particle moves along the x-axis with a velocity given by that, and the particle is at position x equals negative 5 at times t equals 0. Find the acceleration of the particle. Well, the relationship between velocity and acceleration, a of t is equal to v prime of t, and so I'm going to use my calculator to calculate that, math. I don't usually do derivatives too often on my calculator, but this is 10 sine 0.4x squared divided by x squared minus x plus 3. Derivative with respect to x, and we're plugging in 3. equal to negative 2.118 and no units so that's fine find the position of the particle at times equals 3 so the position is the change is the, the integral is the displacement change in displacement of v of t dt but then it has an initial position at negative 5 so I got to do minus 5 Okay, because that's the initial position. Because if, if there was no change, you know, so x of 0 has to be negative 5. So that's kind of the... Um, yeah, so let's just do that. So I'm going to do negative 5. Actually, we just do math 9. So integral, v of t is 10 sine 0.4x squared divided by uh, x squared minus x plus 3 with respect to x um, we're evaluating at 3 and I guess subtract 5 at the end dang it I forgot to close this no wait What's the problem here? Uh, 10 sine 0.4 x squared. I close the sign. I open parentheses x squared minus x minus 3. Oh, integral. <laughs> I got to do 0 to 3. I don't know what I'm doing. I was thinking derivative still. Uh, and then minus 1.76. Okay, that's its position there. I think they've been doing three decimal places. Evaluate the integral 0 to 3.5 V of T and evaluate this. Interpret the meaning of each integral in the context of the problem. This one is change in displacement. So we can do it already because we have it all set up. We just got to go to 3.5. And we've got to get rid of this subtracting 5. It's a change in displacement. Change in displacement. Whereas the integral of 0 to 3.5, absolute value of V of t, when you do absolute value, it's total distance traveled. And you can do that in your calculator by just putting in absolute value. That is 3.5 3.737 total distance traveled. Okay. Second particle moves along the x-axis with position given by that. At what time are the two particles moving with the same velocity? Well, the velocity of this guy is the derivative, so that's 2t minus 1. I want to know when is that equal to 10 sine 0.4t squared 
over t squared minus t plus 3. Okay, so I'm just going to do the difference of those two. You could either plot, there's two ways you can do this. You can plot um, them two separately and find the intersection. Or you could take the difference and find the zeros. We'll just, we'll just plot them together. Um, velocities are going to be, I don't know, we'll say negative 5 to 5. There's the intersection. Uh, intersect. First curve. Second curve. Guess. That happens at t is equal to 1.571. So that's when they have the same velocity. Let's take a look at the answer key. Minus 2.118, minus 1.760, 2.844, 3.737. I think those look all right. 3.73 2.84. Yep. Uh, this is the displacement of the particle, and this is the total distance traveled. And then 1.571. So I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.